What's going on guys, it's Danny here, welcome to episode 22, wait, is it 22? 22 or 23? Let me, let me check it real quick, oops, yeah, this is 23, welcome to episode 23 of leveling a panda and monk, we left it here yesterday, um, or the previous episode, level 60, and learned the flying mount, now we can fly here in Outland, so let's go and complete the training real quick there was like a special quest that also gives me an item on top of the 50 percent um bonus experience from quests so let's go and complete that training real quick and also dungeon huh let's let's do a dungeon again i hope i get oh for fuck's sake i get returned to this place again i need to use it again did I put my Hearthstone? Yes, I put my Hearthstone in Traumar, nice. Now what I'm going to do is, after I finish the training, I'm gonna use the Hearthstone and then I get to that, to that village. So I don't have to, um... Alright. Yes. Bend Wait. With the wind and yeah, I had this break. quest and it would give me, it will give me a uh, waste, which is pretty cool waste actually. It's better than the one we have right now, so let's go and do the training. Who is the master? Master Cheng. Master Cheng's training. It's always a different master. Before it was right here, on the left side, over there somewhere. Now it's here, behind. Master Cheng, where are you at? Is the it you? Alright, let's... Guides us. Let's go. Remember the sun well. Remember the sun well. Let's go, fight me. Fight me. Let's queue for a dungeon. Um, I hope... Oh yeah, we unlocked another dungeon on level 60. So the one we did yesterday was Hellfire Ramparts. I hope I get to Blood uh, Fern... Furnace? Furnace? Blue, blood Furnace? <laughs> and... Uh, Alright, let's, let's kill the master first. Let's complete the training first. Let's do the kicks. The punches. And everything. Oh, she she used the AoE. Be careful, guys. She used AoE. Can I fly over here? Uh, no, I cannot fly in this area. At least I can use the mount to walk. Look at that. The, the mount jumps, attempting to fly, but can't fly. Can't fly here yet. At level 80, I think, is when I it's learned to fly to in um, the Courage Eastern first. Kingdoms. Then power, and then uh, there we go, we got the buff, Welcome. and this I is the next one for tomorrow. Equip the belt, it gives more agility and gives 11 haste. Uh, 3 critical strike, less, but it's only 3. I gain a lot of haste, which haste helps for increasing attack speed, spell casting and energy regeneration. Wondering what the the stat priority are for PvE, um, raiding and dungeons and doing dungeons, so P PvE overall, um, monk. Um, when I get to level like 110, at level 110 is when stat priority starts to matter a little, not a little bit, but it matters. That's when it matters. Before that, it really doesn't matter, you don't... Strength. You don't have to look for items that give you mastery if you need a lot of mastery or items that give you, you know, critical strike. For example, for Shadow Priest, my main is a Shadow Priest, the number one, uh, the number one priority to have is haste. You need as much haste as possible on your Shadow Priest. Um, look at that, it's so much better when we can fly here. I can just fly to the mobs right into them and kill them and wait 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 do i have to yeah i have to kill them here there is another quest where i have to take um i have to go to a flight master over here and speak to him and then with the bomb kill mobs but this is not the bomb quest where is the where is the one head of four Forgy Fiend Razor, so... Forge Fiend 
I, uh, I don't know where he is right now. Because I wanna... I wanna find that one first. Isn't it this guy? It's this guy. It should be this guy. No, it's not him. Okay, anyway, let's go kill the other mobs. And he will spawn. He will... He will spawn and he will randomly appear at one point. For sure. Maybe I have to kill one of these? Is it possible? No. Let's go for the others. Um, okay, we are in the dungeon. We are almost in the dungeon. One tank and three DPS are ready to go. We need one healer and we, we start the dungeon. One healer, one healer. We need more healers. What you have mostly in this game is tanks. And obviously, uh, no, no, sorry, not tanks, DPS. It's like in Dota 2, what you have the most is uh, carry and core players overall. But um, it's like the, the game requires that. Because there are, in, in every group of five people, there is slot for one tank, one healer, and three DPS. Just like in Dota, there are, there are slots for two supports and three cores. So, always the cores are more than the, the supports and stuff like that. So, obviously, there will be more players. More more core players and more DPS players than supports and healers. But, um, sometimes I feel like there are way too many, you know? I feel like there are way too many carries. Or DPS. But it's okay, though. It's nothing wrong with that. Yo, we got into the same dungeon from yesterday. This is a really quick dungeon. And looks like they already started, but they didn't do much of it. They only did... Uh, only cleared a few pools. So we're gonna... We're gonna have some experience here. We're gonna have a lot of experience today. From this dungeon. This is a Mayo Helm. I can sell it for two gold. Again, at this point, I'm starting to... Start oh shit, I pulled by accident. Anyway, I tank is here. Break. Someone else abandoned as well? One DPS abandoned. But it's okay, because we can find another DPS immediately. Like, DPS is what you have the most. It's very, very easy to find a DPS. This is a cloth, we don't need it, so we just greed. This is a mail. We cannot wear mail items, so we just put greed. And if I get it with the greed, um, I will sell it. It's like 2-3 gold per item. And at this point, I'm gonna try to loot everything. First of all, I have these bags with like so many slots in these bags. I am out of breath. And I can I can get a lot of gold at this point. Earlier in the game, before this level. You get almost nothing for selling selling items and stuff, like green items. But at this point, I do get a lot for selling green items. Okay, we got the Death Knight DPS. It is too far away. Let's see who does the most. For some reason, my, uh, my DPS account is not working again. It's not showing. Maybe I have to enable it. Maybe it automatically disabled. Maybe it had a had a fail or something, so it automatically disabled. I need to get closer. We definitely can go faster, you know. You can go really, really fast in these dungeons. You can pull a lot of mobs. And one DPS died. The DK died because he's not. He's taking the aggro, and the tank died too, holy shit, what the fuck? Maybe we pulled too many. See, this is what happens in the early level dungeons. You pull so many elites and it's no problem. But now you pull like two groups of four elites or something, and the tanks... The tank died. <laughs> I didn't believe that's gonna happen, didn't think he will die, but he died. The boss is coming. Um, I think the boss will run to us now. 
the boss together with two guards basically just walking around when the boss goes away we can clean um, you know we can clean mobs before the boss but now he's coming closer and we can pull him where is the tank pull let's go he's going away do I wanna pull him here I wanna pull him so he came he comes here yeah I pulled him let's use the touch of death the two minute cooldown touch of death plate 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 we don't need plate we we cannot wear plate unfortunately so never mind then I need to, get closer. Need to do some interruption here and then do some aoe as some melee dps it's very important to interrupt stuff it is too far away. and i like that we're we're pulling everything actually I like that we're pulling the side mobs and stuff. Someone leveled up. Not me though. Every time someone levels up, I look. But it's not me leveling up. Feels bad, man. Wand. Who wears wand? We don't wear these things. Wand is for range DPS for casters or something. I am out of range. something first mail one day is gonna drop something for me you know one day oh this mail and plate shit how about something leather for me man what an ugly helm mine looks really really good right now the punches Interrupt. Alright. Let's continue going. I need a target. I need to These closer. elites are actually dying surprisingly fast. I am out of break. I'm actually using my taunt. It's not the best idea. Because when I'm taunting, the mob will attack me. It's like the only ranged thing I have to to the the provoke is the only thing I have in range that I can pull mobs with. Oh shit, he pulled a lot here. Now that's amazing. But I'm taking the aggro and that's not amazing. I need to I need the mobs to not hit me. I am out of range. Monk is so good, man. Monk is like super fun, honestly. Monk in dungeons is really, really good. I am out of My Shadow Priest is not like the best in dungeons. It's good still, but it's not the best. It's really good on bosses. Let's go for that boss on the right side first. And I think I can pull and attack first. I can initiate. I can do the initiation, right? If it's only two mobs, I can I can go in first and pull them. And especially if they are casters like these guys, um, I can wait for them until they almost cast their spell and then I interrupt it at the end. So that way they get silenced and when they are casters, they don't deal good, um, good physical damage. Oh, I don't need it. I don't need this. Casters make sense, right? Casters don't deal um, good physical damage. They only... Only cast spells. Only deal damage with spells. And I can interrupt those spells. Because every melee DPS and tanks, they have interrupts. Oh, this is a pretty cool stuff actually, but not for me. It gives intellect, so it's not for me. And it looks kind of cool too. Damn. 
let's go for the last boss. We are actually almost done with the dungeon. <laughs> Damn. Almost done. Wondering if the... Um, it's still saying Outland. Okay. Wondering if the the guide adventure will send me to another another leveling zone. For example, 58 to 63 and then this one is 60 to 64. This one six, 62 to 65. So I'm already 60 so I could actually move to this one. We'll see. Maybe not right now at 60. I will be 61 actually very soon. Can't, can't see exactly everything from the zones, you know? Can't see the entire leveling zones. Until now in every leveling zone we have seen only the first village or something. Because we don't get to do more than that. Just like... The first village and GG. I level up really really fast in dungeons and stuff. But questing is not that entertaining, I would totally understand. Questing is not the f the most fun thing to do. This polearm polearm looks really good, it's huge, but it gives strength. I don't want I I don't think I want it with strength, you know. I'm leaving the leaving the dungeon, not going to do any more. Um let's do a battleground, right? Yo, how about a battleground here? Random battleground. How much would I have to wait? 15 minutes? Well, that's okay because meanwhile I can quest. I need to be closer. I can do quests and stuff. Punch, punch, punch. What I'm wondering is where is the head? Where is the guy I have to kill for the head? Like, what do I have to? Oh, we got the bag with item. Hands with intellect? Not for me. No need intellect, I'm not healer. That pole arm, if it had the uh, agility instead of strength, I would take it. I would I would get I would do need and I would take it. But that pole arm from the last boss was strength. And strength is for tanking. I'm not not a tank. I am DPS. I am deeps. Deep monk. Oh, okay. The head is not even here. Oh, the head is in the other... The other part. Because there are two... Like, two... Um, two areas with these mobs. One here and one here. So, the guy that I have to kill and get the head is in this one. Is it this guy over there? Razor, Razor Soul should be this guy. Yeah, it's him. And also, he dropped another quest. So, the quest is to go and speak to someone in this village over here. Okay. Let's do the... Um, let's do the one with the bomb first. This quest with the bomb. And then, and then I will go um, turn in those, or I will go turn these two quests. And also, I have to find, find Kron, Spinebreaker, Spinebreaker. Okay, and also sending me to this village down here to speak to someone. This is a really good leveling area as well. I remember it when I leveled up my my main a long time Speak, ago. Friend. Send me to the abyssal no. This one. I'm going to Spinebreaker Post. So. Spinebreaker. Spinebreaker Post. What do you need? 
Send me to the abyssal shelf. For the mm. horn. Rotar. What is the abyssal shelf? May your blades never die. Okay, I guess. Oh yeah, this is the mission. This is this is how the quest is called. Mission the abyssal shelf. Okay. The other option was to fly down here. But I have a flying mount so I can fly there myself. Wait, where do I have to use the bomb? Drops a heavy bomb. Okay. Where do I have to drop it on these things? I guess. Yeah. I am out of range. Out of range? What the fuck? Spell not learned? What? It is too far away. Wait, what? This is bugged. I'm gonna put it on my inventory number two on number five here. If I use it here below the minimap, it it's working now. Why didn't it work before? Maybe I need to be in an area. Maybe it requires me to be inside this area, otherwise it's not working. But I was so confused. These are level that 20 elites. Level, level, uh, level 69 and level 70 elites. Not ready yet. If I actually try to come here and kill them by myself, that would be impossible. I have to do it with this quest item, with the bomb and stuff. Okay, so the only thing left here... I need to get closer. Spell not learned. Again, spell not learned. Maybe I'm not in the area. Maybe the quest is... A little bit... Quest needs to be a little bit fixed, maybe. And then there are these... Schools, elites. If it's a school, it means yet. it's a lot higher level. I don't know what the level. Alright, quest is ready. Let's go back. Request stop. Yeah, let's go. Look at that. You fall down here and you're fucking dead. <laughs> you fall down here, you're dead. This is Outland. Everything is in the air. You are in the air. Outland. Draenor. Draenor came out with Warlords of Draenor expansion that I did not play. I came back to the game after that. I came back now for the for the Broken Isles for Legion. Broken Isles and Legion. I'm so used to using that mount. Stay away from them. I am really used to the ground mount. Um, war and complete. Wait, what? Wait, again? Again, the same quest? But I get only 3k experience from it. Can I request stop? Can I request. Can I get out of here? I can't get out of here. Can I log out? Oh shit, no! I didn't really mean to log out. Who? Good thing I'm still in the battleground queue. Okay, at least now I'm coming back. I'm returning back. Okay. I don't want to do the same quest again. It's like some kind of a small extra quest to do it again. Why would I do it again, mate? It, it gives only 3,000 experience. Where is it? Return to the... This one. Yeah, fuck it. Not gonna do it. Even the quests that I have to go and speak to someone, they give more experience than this. <laughs> Even those quests give more. Like, two times more. Waste of time. So I still 
still haven't upgraded the leveling gear. It's level 1 to 60. Right now I'm 61. So it, I'm assuming it doesn't work anymore on me. I don't get the 10% bonus experience. And it doesn't scale anymore. The stats it gives. It, it doesn't give me better stats. I think I don't want to upgrade it. I think I want to... I want to level up normally. Level up... Level up normally by just doing quests. This helm? I don't want to use this helm. No, I don't want it. There are two new quests here that I got. Okay, Anaria Shola. Report to this guy. Greetings. And this one. This is the... This is involving some PvP. This is what I told you. It gives me... It gives me this trinket that removes all the effects. But I already have it. I have this one. The Honorable Medallion. The thing is... The Honorable Medallion is not a trinket. This one is a trinket. I have to equip it here. But it doesn't give me any stats. Like stamina or haste or critical strike or agility. Doesn't give me anything. It's just... Just to remove the effects. The stun effects and slow effects and stuff like that. So it kind of sucks. I'm definitely not going to use it. Uh, but the quest gives 10k experience, so compared to other quests, 10k is really good because this one is 14k experience. This one is 14k as well. Let's try to finish this one first. And then, and then we're actually gonna be moving to other zones, like other village of the zone. That's nice. That's very nice to have constant movement, you know. I don't wanna... I don't wanna stay in the same zone or questing in the exactly same village for like three episodes or something. Just one is enough. I am out of range. It is too far away. Alright, quest is done. I only had to kill three of those. Only had to kill three, um... Things. Also, you can see a swords, little swords on the quest here. That means it involves PvP. It says PvP. PvP is a player versus player, so... Maybe there are some alliance in there and maybe we can fight some alliance Speak, players. May your never the thing is, I'm queuing for a battleground, so I don't really... I don't really need to do PvP right now because I'm gonna do PvP in about 5 minutes. I will be in the battleground. Now, there is a quest to go to the cave there. Go to the cave and get... Get a key and close a gate and then kill somebody. Okay, I'm assuming it's inside. So, yeah, in the mine, okay. Not exactly a cave, it's a mine. And there is another player here. Another player questing, so we're gonna be doing together. We're gonna be doing it together. What are those sounds that these guys are making? Eee! Okay, I can see the the blue thing on the map, blue area on the map. It's actually not inside the cave, huh? It's not inside here. I thought it's going to be inside, but it's on top. It's on top of the mine. Maybe the next quest I get will be here to do something in this mine. But right now it's not. And how do I get out of it? Should be this way, over here. 
Yeah, should be here. So it's on top of it. And I got another quest over here. I don't want to take these random quests. Um, after this one, I will most likely abandon if I have any in this area. Unless it's like um, last quest from a big chain. And it gives a lot of experience. It's that That's the good part of finishing chain quests. Because they give a lot of experience at the end. Burning Legion key. So I have to get a key first. I have to kill this guy. But he just died. I have to kill this guy. And get the key from him. No, I don't get the key from this guy. It's part of the quest. It's part of the quest to kill him. But I don't get... Actually, I do get the key from him. Okay. Okay, never mind. And now I'm gonna close the gate. If only this bitch lets me. Of course you're going to cancel my cast. Okay, you're dead. And now we have to kill this guy as well. Alright. That's it. Quest is done. These quests are great. Being able to use a fly mount saves you so much time. You go right into the quest. It, it saves you so much time. It's incredible. It's really good. You just fly with your mount to the quest and easy. And then you... The quests are really short too. Be safe. Yeah. This is exactly what I mean. I have been doing a chain quest. So, every quest until now has been giving me 10,000, 12, 14,000. But this is the last. If I get a trinket which is blue, it's not just random green item, it's blue. Um, I get a trinket. It's the last quest of the chain. And it gives 22,000 experience, which is a lot. Go forth to victory. So, we have to go and kill somebody here. Maybe he's an elite, I don't know what he is, but we have to go and kill him. And I'm actually going to abandon abandon the quest that involves PvP. Because I don't I don't wanna go and waste time with these things. There is a bonus, as I said in the previous episode. When you control all three towers, there is a bonus, but there might be even like a level 110 and that's unfair. That happens. There is a level 110 that's helping the low level ones. How am I going to kill 110 player? Like he's going to cast one spell on me and I'm dead pretty much. So this guy is an elite. No, no, he's not an elite. But this is the guy I'm looking for to kill. And I kill him. So that's the quest basically. That was the quest. 16 minutes queue for the battleground. Yo. You need to give me a battleground, man. You need to do something. Now, let me see what do we get. We get to choose from trinkets. And they are all really cool. It gives 11 critical strike. Or, no, 18. The one I have right now is 11. 18 critical strike or... Another one for critical strike, but it gives attack power. This one gives spell power. Make sure we don't get the wrong one, you know? Spell power, we don't use spells. We are not a ranged spellcaster. We need to get this one with attack power. And then this one is uh, 18 dodge. And when you use it, it gives you... It increases your health by 618. But that's for tanks. So it's one for tanks... One for um, DPS and healers, and then one for melee DPS like us, for attack power 69. 1 minute and 30 seconds cooldown, I actually could could use it quite often. Uh, choose this one with attack power. Look at all that experience, man. Great stuff. 
So I'm gonna put it here because this one, this one is the one that scales, but at le after level 60 it doesn't scale anymore. I can make them to, to scale, but I don't, I don't really want to, I don't know. I think I want to level what with normal gear. From 60 to 110 leveling up with normal gear. Where the, I, it's not, it's not like, I saw some comments um, saying that I level up really slowly in previous videos. But honestly, this is supposed to be like a chill thing, right? I'm not speedrunning, leveling as fast as possible. I'm not in a leveling competition. If I wanted to do as fast as possible, do you think I would be doing any quests or any battlegrounds? I would do zero battlegrounds, literally zero. I would be leveling up in dungeons. I would be going really, really fast for quests. And I would do my best to level up as fast as possible. But that's not my main objective of the game right now, leveling up as fast as possible. I'm recording Let's Plays. So, trying to show the game to people who never played the game. Or people who did play it long time ago and then they stopped playing it. And they never returned or whatever. I have people watching me who play the game even nowadays and then they still watch me because... I guess it's fun. I hope it's fun. I'm trying to make it as entertaining as possible. I'm listening. Um, I could quest a little bit. So basically, I am done with the first village here. Now I'm going to do a few quests in this area. Just so we can see the area and stuff. And then I'm gonna move to this one, do a few quests in there, and then we're we are moving to another leveling zone. This is another thing. Like, if I was leveling up by myself and I wanted to level really, really fast, I wouldn't be going from one village to another, or I wouldn't be going from one zone to another. I would be skipping a lot of stuff. Like, in this Let's Play episodes, um, I am moving to different leveling zones, and I'm trying to explore the game more, um, what? as much as possible, of course, because, you know, I am leveling up really, really fast. Like, the game has changed. You level up much faster than you used to before. So, even if you don't want to, you will skip some leveling zones and... You will you will be moving from one zone to another really fast, even if you even if you don't want it. So um, this is the bleeding hollow blood. Basically, let me see what I have to do here. What are these guys? Let's kill all of them. Requires bleeding hollow blood. Okay, but how do I get it? How do I... Bleeding hollow blood... Bleeding hollow peon. Alright, I get it from the orcs. I get it from these guys. So now, I'm going to use it here. And then I spawn these things. The scrubs. I don't even have to kill the scrubs. I just have to get blood from the orcs and then use them here. I have to throw them here. In the cauldron. Cauldron? Yeah, I guess. Cauld cauldron. Alright. This is the quest right now. I need to target something. These three quests are probably the only quests I will do here. And then I will move to the other zone. Actually, uh, we, are, we are having the control of all the towers. We are controlling all three of the... The towers, I guess. I don't know what they are called exactly. So the bonus when we are controlling it is... Um, the reputation... When killing monsters, the reputation is increased by, by 10%. 
because you get a reputation with these zones but in the low levels i said that before in the low levels it really doesn't matter when you reach level 110 the the in the broken isles those zones do matter if you have more reputation because you can buy you can buy items you can buy nice gear from it from reputation with with the zones you can buy um, recipes for your professions. You can buy a lot of really cool stuff. The reputation here really doesn't matter. Um, also, increases damage dealt by 5%. The Hellfire su superiority. And this one, Power Strike, this is one of my talents. The next Tiger Palm will generate one key. Okay, one additional key. Alright. Let's use... Uh, we got three Bloods here. We need to use both. One. Two. Another one. They are going to be four in total. Alright, I need to kill more orcs. Just need to go a little bit faster here. And get more blood from them. What do you want from me? Okay, go away. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull many at the same time. And then I will go try to kill them, kill them at the same time. Let me see, do I get blood from these orcs as well? Yeah, I should. So I'm going to pull a lot at the same time. This will speed up things a little bit. Got two bloods at the same time now. Things like this is what speeds up the leveling a bit. Things like this is what you do all the time when you are trying to level up as fast as possible. Let's go for more. Pull this guy as well. I need a hug. Now with the punches. Alright, I got one blood. Got four in total. I need eight blood more. Eight. Come here. Come over here. Come over here. They get me out of the mount. When they when the mobs hit you from behind, they get you out of your mount. Alright, kill this guy. And kill this guy too. And I got into the battleground. One blood only? Oh okay, I didn't loot those. And got two bloods from here. Alright, one more. One more of those bloods and that's it. Have I done this battleground before? I don't think so. It says Mists of Pandaria. This is a new battleground from the Mists of Pandaria. Actually, no. I have never done this battleground. Is this like uh, another control point battleground? There are three points. The Goblin Mine, Center Mine and Pandaren Mine. So we have to control two out of three or maybe even all three of them and win win the battleground by reaching 1500 points yeah makes sense i can't fly here though so no need to use the mount this mount is pretty cool i see a lot of people having this mount the sky golem i'm gonna have to google it a lot of people have it and it's really cool look at it It's like Timber Saw from Dota, you know. Looks similar to Tim Timber Saw. You you ride it. This is your character. This is like Timber Saw, and then you're riding the riding the mount inside of him. <laughs> you are on top of him. I mean, not inside. On top of him and riding him.
I really hope it's not something you buy with gold. There are some mounts that you buy with like 2 million gold or 1 million gold for a mount. I'm like, what the fuck? 1 million gold for a mount? I don't... Like, the total gold I have in on my main is... 50,000? How am I going to afford a mount for 1 million or 2 million? What the hell, man? Alright, we're going to the middle one. We're going to the one where it's going to be the most action, huh? Because Alliance takes that one. And we control this one. Alliance here. We go here, so we take two. Wait, wait, what? What's with so many... So many sounds. Alliance here, 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 guys. Alliance players here. Let's fucking go, boys! It is too far away. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my fucking god. I'm getting focused by so many people. What the hell is going on? I'm gonna try to get this warrior. Who took what? We took actually the third mine as well. Oh, holy shit. Wait, did she just go invis? That was a rogue that went invis, right? We need to be we need to be careful to not have like a sneaky rogue going from behind and capturing the capturing the flags. And we don't have a single person on the goblin mine. Oh, there is this this thing as well. The minecart. It probably... I just got sapped. Rogue, what do you want from me? Show yourself. Show yourself and fight me. Don't be a bitch. Sapping me. So, there is this minecart. That the Alliance are carrying, actually. Where are they going with the minecart? And how much points does it give? Because right now we are controlling all three points. We are controlling all three mines. I think we're gonna die here. I'm pretty sure we're gonna die here. It's actually a player carrying it. Look at that. It's actually a player carrying the mine. The, the, the cart, I mean. Alright, this battleground is fun. Never played this battleground before, guys. Kill this guy. And someone took the panda and mine. We need to take it back. Okay, he actually ran away. Is this the card? How do we get the card? Something you doing? What do you want? Work, yes. work. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? Work, work. Okay, so this is the gold, the gold card. So these orcs are placing gold on the card, and maybe after a few minutes we will be able to take the card and get it to somewhere. Do we have to get it like? from one mine to another or do we have to get it here to the base i'm not sure but I'm out of range. gonna gonna see what happens later fighting against this rogue first punch him punch him punch him well she I'm escaped she went in this nothing i can do about that I need to get closer. I have so much mobility to go to mages, but I'm gonna die because it's 2v1, it's not fair. I got, a, I got a monk and a mage hitting me. We're leading the battleground, so I'm okay with this. I'm here for the experience. If we win this battleground, I'm sure I'm going to level up a lot. I'm going to, I'm going to be level 62. And it's going to be another episode where we level up two levels. So that's great. 
Very nice to see that I'm still getting like two levels per episode. Obviously, in the in the first few episodes, it was like five levels per episode. But right now, it's like two. And two is still good enough. Maybe... Maybe when you control all three mines, um, the enemy gets the chance to get a card. Is that how it works? If we control all three mines? Because there is another card. One of the alliance is carrying another card. I'm actually wondering how many points does it give them if they, if they carry a card. If they actually deliver the card, because they are trying to deliver it somewhere. And we really, really need to go and stop it. Really need to go and take it. And I got sapped by a rogue. Sneaky little rogues. Sapping you for 50 years. And they are actually two at the same time. Fucking little bitches, man. <laughs> Fucking little pussies attacking you as two people. <laughs> two rogues going together, killing people only only as two. What the fuck? What kind of pussy gameplay is that, man? Honestly. What kind of pussy gameplay is that? Two rogues going together, killing people. Very fun, man. Both of them invisible. Stealth. Okay, yeah. They have to go from our base to their base. That's the objective right there. Go to their base. And we really have to interrupt it right now. If they reach their base, I don't know what they get. I haven't played this battleground before. What if the, it gives them the battleground win? What if they deliver the card and they they win the battleground automatically I don't know what just happened to the card I tried to take it but I guess you can't take it you can just stop it stop it from delivering or whatever I gotta slow this guy because he's running really fast Interrupt these guys. We need to not let the casters do whatever they want. Casters are annoying as fuck if you do them... If you let them do whatever they want. Don't have a target. And this is where we can get a card. We can move as a team together. Alright, I got a card. What do I do with it now? Where exactly do I have to carry it? I need a target. Do I have to carry it to li like to my base? But I'm gonna need my team to protect, you know, I'm gonna need the the rest of the people I need to protect me. And I can't use any mobility spells. I'm gonna need people to heal me and I need to heal myself too. Maybe I should have gone this way. This way would have been a lot more safe here. But it's okay, I guess. What if I deliver the card here? If I deliver the gold card here somewhere? What happens? Oh shit, I'm getting attacked. Yo, help me! Help me! Ah! So many people, holy shit. Is it here? 
Where do I have to go with it? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm assuming I have to go to my base. Because it didn't work when I came here. Inside the mine. Everyone is going with me. We are all together. So I guess I'm doing the right thing. If people are following me. I guess I'm going the right way. I can't roll. I can't use any mobility. I can't use the, the key torpedo. I can't use anything. So do we win the battleground if, if I deliver this? If I deliver this, I'm gonna get a lot of experience for sure. I don't know if it automatically wins the battleground, but... I will get a lot of experience, and I'm here for the levels. Incapacitated? What the fuck? Oh no, the ropes are here too. Okay, we delivered it. Okay, we delivered the thing. Well, I guess that works. I guess that works. We got this. Level 61, almost level 62. Um, I needed one more blood. One more blood from this. And then I, I'm i done with the quest. 56 minutes into the video. So basically, what I do here is... I'm gonna finish this quest and then turn it. And then I'm going to use the Hearthstone, which will take me back here, and I'm going to... I'm going to log out in the rest area, of course. So the next time I continue leveling up, I will have rested experience. Oh, I have 8 already. What the hell? I got 8 bloods already. Alright. So I have to put the the blood here. Okay. One. Yeah, gonna have to do it with eight. Fifty-seven minutes. Yeah, at the end it should be about one hour, as always. Hope you guys are enjoying this episode. Hope you're having a a chill day or a chill night whenever you're watching this they cancel it yeah if they attack me they cancel cancel my cast this fucking fucking scraps Alright, and here we go. Gotta kill some of them. Oh, what do you want from me, bro? Bro, leave me alone. Alright, let's go return it. In the next episode, we're gonna do this and this quest. And then we're going to move to this leveling zone and do a few quests from there. And something I forgot, the trinket. The 69 uh, attack power is actually use. I have to use it. So I'm gonna put it on this hotkey. And when I use it, I basically buff myself with it. Just like this. Buff myself with it. And it gives me attack power. And attack power, I guess... I assume... It makes me hit harder. Deal more damage. That would make a lot of sense. What now? There we go. The level up, boys. Bring um, um uh, to trauma. Trust no one. Okay, that's exactly where I'm going. So why not just get a little three thousand and six hundred bonus experience by returning something into the village? Alliance is controlling the towers right now, so we don't have any bonus damage or anything like that. Zang, Zangarmash, Zangarmarsh. The adventure guide is already sending me to another zone. It's already sending me here. 
because this is level 60 to 64 and I'm 62. Well, this is what I mean. We saw this part of the zone. Now we are seeing this part. After I'm, I'm done with these two quests, I'm gonna move to this part and do do some quests in here as well. Two, three quests or something. And then I will abandon everything that I have. I even, quest, I even have one quest here in front. But I'm not going to take it because I am leveling up a lot faster than than usual and after winning the battleground i got like 30 percent of the experience and let's see what we get in the in the box from the battleground i get a belt for agility and haste the belt i have equipped right now is better the one i have equipped we got it from that uh, training quest for the quest that gives me 50 percent bonus experience from quests got it from the training it's a really good belt don't want to put this one so use the hearthstone and get to Traumar as fast as possible and um, return this and I want to sell my stuff real quick in the in the next episode in the beginning I'm going to fly down here real quick I can use the flight master to go down there and um, and then do these two quests um, I remember this leveling zone, there is a lot of water in it. You can see the, the blue things, this is water on the map of course. So it's a lot of water in this. And all the mobs are like, like water mobs. They are like water creatures and stuff. This one is about uh, demons, you know. The Hellfire Peninsula is about demons. And um, they, they are mostly demons and all the orcs. And all these um, cannons and stuff like that. This one is more about water. So demons, water. Um, this one is more like a nature. I remember this one. Nag Nagrand. Nagrand, yeah. Uh, this one is a lot of like nature stuff. A lot of dinosaurs and raptors and elephants and stuff like that. Like uh, mobs. I don't remember this one at all. It looks a bit weird. I don't know what all these things are. A lot of like ships. Some kind of ships. I don't know what they are. And this one looks like it's broken in, in like five small parts. Instead of one big part like this. It's broken into five small parts. Or six or seven if you count this one it's pretty cool um, let me let me return this quest real quick is it up here should be up here where is it where is the the quest guy the questing the quest person where is he I want a little bonus experience a little bonus there it is. is that better be good? Now he's giving me a quest to kill 20 of something, but Goodbye. doesn't matter. I'm not going to do quests in this area anymore. So let's go ahead and repair. I can repair here somewhere. I think I could have learned the flight. There should be a, f uh, a flying trainer here as well. I think, I think that there used to be one flying trainer here. Before, when it was this expansion only, you learn it from from this area. Yeah, there it is, this guy over here. But I already learned it in Ogremar. Now I can learn the other things at level 68, 70, or whatever. But I can go to Ogremar for it. It's very easy. Uh, let me sell my shit. I don't need absolutely any of these things. It's like 2-3 gold per item sold. Some of them cannot be sold. And... I remember abandoning the quest with the bomb. Why is it still giving me the bomb? I don't know why do I still have the bomb. I don't need it. 
This is a quest item, and this is the trinket. The trinket that scales from level 1 to 60. I don't need it anymore. Um, I'm going to log out in the rest area. I'm doing it here because there is no resting area down here. It's only in this village, only in Traumar. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of leveling a Pander and Monk. If you did, um, a, li a like on the video would be really appreciated and helpful. I if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. I do my best, try to upload videos every day. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Good luck and have fun playing games.